let me change, well, let me start the game, change the title of the stream. Damien's Root. There we go. Alrighty, let me make sure everything is working. Hold on one second. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Bellinaris is here. Shelties is here. I saw Izpap in here before. Hello, my darlings. Welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I have initiated something new. It's not fully implemented yet, but we now have a point system. Uh, if you want to check your point balance, you can type in exclamation point coins and it will show you how many hours you've spent in stream starting from now I believe no I think it counts it all in general I believe so it'll tell you how many hours you spent in stream and how many points you have uh, everybody automatically got 10 points for subscribing and you're gonna gain five points for every five minutes you're in the stream so everybody could start kind of um, gathering oh, okay it's zero hours okay so it's gonna start counting hours as of now um, I'm gonna create some ranks, maybe. I haven't decided on that yet, and I'm gonna have a mini game. I'm gonna start the whole heist mini game at some point soon once I'm done fully implementing this. Cookie! It's all good, Cookie, and is Pep. Hello, my darling. I am so sorry that we wound up having to do the Sam route without you. My heart, like, broke. I felt really bad but I hope you enjoyed watching it on YouTube so we're doing Damien and Hannah wanted the, char the character to be named after her so oh god the counting again hello is Pat all right we're gonna start we're gonna do Damien's route oh 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 no I don't want auto okay um Hannah! Mm, I love- Okay. Okay. I like Dragon Company! Booyah! I hope you all had a lovely day. I got into a big theoretical discussion with my brother and our friend Alan over dinner. We ordered pizza and had a big theoretical discussion. That's another thing, by the way. I don't know if we're going to be board gaming later, but once we're done with this route, I have to check in and see what's going on. I might have to cut out right after the stream to go spend some time with some friends. If not, then we'll chill as usual. But, um, we'll see what happens. Oh, Cookie, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I only stream at two o'clock on weekends. I work 8.30 to five, Monday through Friday, so. Yes, theoretical discussions about the EU and the draft and just random stuff. It was a very serious discussion. <clears throat> I think it's so cute that you guys were so excited for this stream. I was so excited for this stream too because I love having you here. Also, Shelties has some stuff in the works, apparently. She was telling me earlier for the stream, you know, also because Shelties is amazing. And I'm also really excited to stream um, some Rogue Legacy because Shelties was kind enough to buy it for me and make me cry because she's amazing. Alright. Dad smacks us in the face. Uh, Naomi's right, Suzu. Everybody hates Lizette. Fuck you, Dad. Our dad's a douche. Okay. So we'll be nice, I guess, since we're doing Damien's. Let me let me pull up Damien's walkthrough, by the way. Damien needs a walkthrough because, um, as I've mentioned a couple times before, his story is very, very unique to this game, and it's very complicated compared to the other routes. His story is special. <laughs> his story is very special. 
It's very interesting, though. Um, and very, very emotionally charged. Okay. Uh... Ask him for an apology. Screw you, buddy. What did it mean when my bot said coins? Okay, let me expect. Let me explain the coins. You guys earn coins now for being in the stream while the stream is active. So you gain five coins for every five minutes that you spend in the stream. It's basically currency for being a loyal viewer. Um, eventually there will be like raffles and mini games and stuff that you can spend those coins on, but I haven't implemented that yet, but I wanted to get the coin stuff set up so that you guys can kind of, um, you know, get used to the coins and, uh, and start racking some points up. Also the ranks that I'm going to set up are going to be based off of hours in the stream. Um, because if you have a bunch of coins and then you get a certain rank and then you spend those coins, it can derank you. And I don't want that happening. So we're going to do that based on hours. Oh, Cookie's got 16 coins. What? <laughs> you can get ranks. I haven't set them up yet. But it's going to depend on how many hours you've spent in the stream. It's not set up yet. I have to create them. I don't know what I'm going to name them is really my issue. And I need to figure out how many hours I'm going to rank people up. I don't know. I don't know. I could get super crazy with it, you guys. Oh, uh, Let's be calm. We have to be calm here in order to um, get into Damien's route. So let's go through this really quick. I took a deep... Wait, how do you have nine coins, is pep? That's not right. I have to fix that. You're supposed to have ten just for subscribing. So I don't know how you only have nine. I'll have to, fi I'll have to adjust your number. Um... Alrighty. I took a deep breath. I was sure that if any of them wanted to take advantage of me, they would have, they would have already. Yeah, this is a feels trip, you guys. Yeah, I'm awake now. That's good. I saw a small I saw a small smile form on his face which made me blush a bit. Why though? One thing though yeah, I'm okay. I'm not going to use my powers on you. Yeah, you're not gonna use our powers on us, but blah 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 blah. Uh let's it, look let's look it's at this all beautiful right. CG. I'm used to it. He's adorable. Five hundred hours. No. I figured I would do like maybe ten 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 100, and then maybe, I, I don't know. Because, I mean, uh, how many hours do I stream, really, you guys? It would take forever for you guys to rank up. I decided to close my mouth for the time being so that I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than they already were. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk, so at least things weren't too strange. Damien seemed very quiet and, uh, and calm about everything, especially with the situation we were in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in... Admiration? Keep that line in mind, kitties, because... Oh my god, the ride we were about to go on. I'm not as tired today, but I was yawning a lot at work. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of drama... Okay, so blah blah blah. blah. Uh, you can have what? I appreciate the thought, but uh, no thanks. I just, I, I just wanted to show that face. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'll tell you about my dad being a douche. Okay, so this is Eric flirting with us. Um, this choice does not matter with Damien's root, so we'll, we'll just be cool. Okay, so I almost couldn't hold my laughter in. So then, this is the only choice I believe that that we that is really used specifically for someone, and that's for Damien. Yeah, Cookie, I followed you on Twitter. Everybody's got to follow Cookie on Twitter. She's amazing. So then,
I looked back at Damien, who'd been silent the whole time. He was leaning against the far wall, moving his lips almost silently to the empty space beside him. Out of curiosity, I looked the same way, though I found nothing there. It's nothing. Huh? I looked back at Damien to see uh I looked back to see Damien looking at me with his normal blank face. I couldn't help but stare back, feeling the red tint of embarrassment spreading across my face. As I stared, Damien gave a very small smile and closed his eyes, returning to his thoughts. So yeah, you get a very special little Damien scene if you choose if you choose that um if you choose that option to say so then. Cookie. No, we didn't slap. Damien's a nice guy. I don't want Anderson to be violent this time around. You guys love the violence. Oh, uh, the visitors! Then why did one of <laughs> I didn't know what to choose. <laughs> uh, I'll stay and help around the house. Are you sure? And, of course... In order to start the Damien route, now that we have it, uh, the option of it, we're going to help Damien with the lobby. I stayed in the lobby with Damien, who nodded to me and passed me a dust cloth. We have to dust off the railings and other surfaces before we mop the floor. Is that okay? I nodded and rolled up my sleeves, climbing, t climbing the steps of the staircase. Easy as cake! Both Damien and I began to climb to the top of the stairs, wiping the dust off the railings as we went. However, a silly idea came into my mind. I looked over to Damien, wondering if he could read what I was thinking. Oh, I remember this scene. As I expected, Damien looked over in slight surprise before giving me a slightly concerned look. What if you get hurt? Oh, God, Bella, that's crazy. I'm oh, sorry, I feel the need to call you Bella Norris because my mom's dog is named Bella, and that's kind of weird. Oh my gosh, Cookie, that's adorable. We should do that sometimes. Like, maybe one night, if we don't feel like playing a game or streaming, we should go, like, watch a stream together or something. Like, watch, like, you know, one of the normal boots or hidden block guys, like, VOD streams or something like that. I don't know. It would be it would be a fun group exercise. I feel like, I feel like we need to have family outings, you guys. <laughs> You nailed that one. Wow, Shelties, good job. Oh my god, one of one of my friends told me this great joke today, okay? I'll wait to see if you guys can give me some answers, okay? Um what do you uh how do I how, uh, I'm trying to think of the exact wording. Um What do you call a dictionary that has a drug problem? I'll let you give. I'll let you. I'll let you come up with some answers. Oh come on! It'll be fun. I did it all the time as a kid. Damien stared at the rail and thought. My mind began to wander to how much fun my idea was, hoping my thoughts would convince him. Damien sighed softly before smirking slightly and nodding. A dictionary. That is one of the answers, Shelties. But there's another answer to this to this uh joke that I like even better. I quickened my pace on the rail, dusting as quickly as I could uh, as I got to the top. Damien followed quickly behind on the opposite side until we were both at the top of the stairs. We both then jumped up and sat on top of the rail, sliding down each side like a roller coaster. Yes, high definition is the other answer. What do you call it? A, what do you call, what do you call a dictionary with a drug problem? High definition. Yeah, I like puns like that. It makes me happy. Okay. There was a lot of thought on the execution, but not much to stopping. Uh, watch out! Whoa! <laughs> Our brakes had become us, slamming into each other and landing on the floor, him on top of me. I stared up at him in surprise and as he looked down at me in concern. Neither of us knew what to say. So should I push him off gently or should we laugh? Obviously, we are going to laugh it off. We're not going to push him off. I started to laugh. I didn't know why, but I just couldn't control myself. I closed my eyes and laughed in pure enjoyment of what had just happened. Damien began to laugh as well, smiling widely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Both of us ended up laughing on the floor. Damien rolled off of me and held his stomach as I held mine. We were both completely engulfed in joy. You were right. <laughs> that was fun. You see, I told you. <laughs> Both of us curled into ourselves, facing each other in laughter before we looked at each other with smiles. However, Damien's face softened as his laughter slowly died. He smiled with happiness in his eyes and a blush across his cheeks. I stared in surprise, my face turning red in return, but my mind going blank. I couldn't stop staring at Damien's smile. Something about him was just completely charming. His eyes had a mixture of happiness and a small bit of yearning. Yes, they keep mentioning the yearning. You keep mentioning the yearning. Just keep that in mind as we go along the story, kids. Soon, though, Damien stood up and reached a hand down to me, breaking my silent thoughts. <laughs> Come on. We need to keep cleaning. I slowly nodded before standing and continuing to clean alongside him. The hour of the house party had arrived. In my mind, I kept double and triple checking the essentials for the party. Knowing my dad, he invited his business partners and the executives of the Anderson Company to show me off. I stood in front of my mirror in my room, staring at my form as a million thoughts ran through my mind. It was just a housewarming party, but at the same time, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Housewarming party. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's just pick random answers this time. I'm so sorry about Do you have call? What do you think of the... I don't care. We're just do picking dumb answers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we to just my picked side, everything. my noble Ein Herjar. Dynamic skills. Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the Choo Choo Club. Everybody, give dynamic skills some love and welcome him to the Choo Choo Club, him or her. I'm terrible. I just, I just assign genders to people. I'm terrible. You saw my post on Twitter. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you so much! Uh, just so you guys know, with people watching on uh, YouTube, Dynamic Skills says, Just seen your post on Twitter, just hit you with the follow. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Dynamic. I appreciate it. That is so cool of you to stop by and hit that follow button. Thank you very much. Honey, I... All right, here we go again with Andrew. Whatever. We'll romance him next, I guess, to get him out of the way? Um, I I don't know. I've never I've never romanced him before. We'll just stay put. <laughs> a little. Oh, is Dad gonna yell at us for our dumbass answers? Gwen is here! Yay! I overheard your conversation. Oh yeah. Okay. So he's not happy with our dumbass answers. Big surprise. Malix. Fuck off! <laughs> I love that you guys are loving these coins. Originally, like, it starts off setting people at one coin for every five minutes, but I felt like that would be a really slow progression. I don't know. I might slow it down later if I feel like, I don't know, people are gaining coins so much. Or I could just inflate whatever would be, whatever is worth what, whatever. Anyway, let's have a little bit of Malix in here for Izpep. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Who the bitch out of her cage? What is this? A reverse harem or something? <laughs> uh, his voice actor is fucking superb. I can't. I can't! <laughs> hey, let her go! Sam, Eric! Yeah, <laughs> is Pep. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye bye, Malix. Alright. Guys! Should we work on homework and make some coffee or explore the house? It doesn't really matter which we do, we've done them all. Gwen is packing for Kansas City. That's exciting.
This pep is basically Malix's right hand lady. Oh my god, Gwen, don't talk to me about the dentist. Oh my god. I just get like, oh my, I can't deal with dentist talk. It makes me squirm. Alrighty, uh, let's make some coffee because I could use some coffee right now. Uh, let's not disturb them. I just had pizza for dinner because I'm a pizza shit. We'll go with the we'll go with the joke again. So let's make some pizza. Let's find one of the incubi. Let's go spend some time with Damien. I quickly rushed back and grabbed a second du food dish before hunting down one of the boys. I looked down each hall, trying to find one of the incubi wandering so that I wouldn't have to go through each individual room finding them. I pursed my lips in irritation. Where the heck are they? I sighed, knowing that I would have to search for them in each room. I quickly turned and headed up the stairs. I began to walk down a hall and opened a random door, peering inside. Luckily enough, I found Damien in the study. Yeah! Remember this room? This is where we got all them magical powers and shit. <coughs> oh, are you guys co- co- Oh my god, are you guys counting? Cookie head salad. Yummy. What was in your salad? There's nothing li quite like a good salad. Damien was in a study that I didn't recognize. There was a nice desk and a display case full of toys, books, and memorabilia. I'd never entered this room before, but Damien looked like he knew this room like the back of his hand. Damien was gazing at the pictures and books on the shelf, almost looking lost and dazed. It was almost adorable, but I could sense a small hint of sadness in his eyes. You need a Gwen command? Oh, Shelty's hit you with the infinity! Try counting now! <laughs> what kind of Gwen command should we have? Damien? Huh? Oh, hello. Damien turned to me and gave a gentle smile as if he was doing nothing I, as if he was doing nothing as I came in. I entered the room and closed the door behind me. I was just looking at the books. <laughs> They're very interesting topics. Huh? I looked over at the shelf and skimmed over the spines of each book. They were all books about business and psychology, all ranging in thickness. Some crossed over and brought the two topics together, while others were strictly one or the other. Did my grandfather read and study all of these? They seemed to use, but they were covered by a small layer of dust. Do humans really study this much? Occasionally. It depends on why we're studying. What do you mean? Well, if we're interested in a topic like business, we learn what we can because we want to know more. Are there things you can't study? No, there are books and stuff about anything and everything. Even the demon world? Maybe, but usually those books are considered fiction or religious theory. It was almost cute to talk to about learning with Damien. I guess learning was different in the demon world, but telling him about learning was almost like telling a child the meaning of life. I felt myself become a little wiser as we continued talking. Yeah, we know how education works in the demon world. Basically, unless you're going to be the next demon lord, you don't really get any. <laughs> Humans can learn anything at any time? <laughs> We have libraries and bookstores full of books we can read. Humans have the freedom to learn anything. I looked at Damien in confusion. He seemed to look jealous. Jealous of humans, huh, guys? What about demons? Can't they learn what they want? Damien shook his head before looking down at his feet. Demons don't have schools to learn from like humans do. <laughs> Everything we learn comes from experience or verbal Ooh. mentoring. Books are only permitted to be read by higher nobles. I stared wide-eyed. This was there were no schools in the abyssal plains? That seemed so unreal, yet in a way I wasn't that surprised. The only ones who have ever touched a book are James and Eric, since they're the oldest. Sam and Matthew chose not to read. <laughs> well, we know that that's not true because Matthew was reading behind everybody's back uh, at his mother's you know, insistence to try and one-up James, but yes. Well, what about you? 
Damien stood silent for a bit before sitting on the ground, leaning against the large desk in the room. I decided to follow along and sat beside him. You brought food? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I brought food. Here. Thank you. Damien took his dish of food and began to politely eat. I followed suit. It was painfully obvious that he was dodging my question. Did I want to know? I was very curious. So we can not worry about it or we can ask again. Obviously, we want to know more about him, so we're going to ask again. I was curious, so I had to ask. However, Damien looked at me, stopping me from opening my mouth. Because I'm technically not a noble at all. Yeah, we kind of knew this from the other, um, from the other roots that Damien was born out of wedlock. But now we're going to find out the story from his perspective. I tilted my head and raised an eyebrow in confusion. I'm not a noble? But aren't you all brothers? If the others are nobles, that would make you one. Oh wait, is somebody leaving? Uh, I can't see what is wrong with my life. Oh, is Pep. Have a good night, honey. Love you. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I know. I might have to turn down the coin. Uh, uh, that would be kind of cheating, though, don't you think? If I turned it down after this. I don't know. I saw somebody, the, per the video that I was watching, the person was giving out 10 coins for every 5 minutes in the stream. I was like, oh my god, that's a lot of coins. Damien looked to his dish with a sigh. I suddenly felt regret for asking and pushing the topic. Before I could apologize, Damien spoke. We are all half-brothers. We only share the same father. Our mothers are all different. James, Eric, Sam, and Matthew all had noble mothers who are now queens. My mother was not a noble, and is not a queen. His voice actor is really awesome, too. Yeah, Cookie, you know, one every five minutes was kind of my thought. Uh, hold on one second. I'm gonna be bad and adjust this right now. Um, yeah. Let me just sync that. All right, good. Alrighty. I'm gonna try one every five minutes, which is the same thing as two every ten minutes. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Anyway, thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm adjusting my bot in the middle of the stream because I'm a professional. I could see sadness in Damien's eyes. I bit my lip. I shouldn't have pushed the issue. I'm sorry. Damien shook his head, snapping out of his thoughts, and smiled at me. For what? You didn't know, and were curious. It was only appropriate to answer. Still, it was rude of me to pry like that. I'm sorry. I didn't know what to say. Damien only smiled lightly at me before continuing to eat. As he ate, my mind began to wander to the Abyssal Plains. What was it like? What did it look like? Was the castle big? How many servants did they have? My thoughts were halted by Damien chuckling, most likely at my thoughts. I turned red in embarrassment. Sorry. You keep saying sorry when you don't need to. It's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. I love that line. I pursed my lips but couldn't stop a blush from running across my face. This was going nowhere. I went back to eating in futility, earning another chuckle from Damien. Cookie, who are those two streamers? Because I know one of them ain't me. However, a groan of pain escaped Damien's lips. I stopped and looked at him in surprise. Damien, are you okay? I yeah. <clears throat> it's nothing. Oh, Luke. Don't worry about it. Yeah, Shelties, I was thinking about renaming them. 
I don't know. I was thinking about calling them choo-choo coins, but that's a little... I uh, felt like that was a little campy. Oh, guys! Hannah's here! And yes, he is your baby, Hannah, because uh, Anderson is named Hannah this time around upon your request. Choo-choo points. Oh my god, Shelties! We should call them tickets! Oh my god, that's perfect! Why am I so dumb that I didn't think of that? Hold on, hold on. I'm, pu I'm, I'm, I'm putting the stream on pause again. Hold on. Oh my god, that's perfect. Why am I so dumb that I didn't think of that? Okay, hold on. Oh my god, Shelty should be... Shelty should be running this goddamn stream, not me. <laughs> it should be Shelty's channel. Okay, I changed the command. It is now... Exclamation point tickets. I almost said bang tickets. I've learned my lesson. Exclamation point tickets. <laughs> oh gosh, hold on. Oh, I pressed the wrong buttons. Hold on. You saw me switching it because I pressed the wrong button. I'm mixing up my hotkeys. Hold on. I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Alright. I heard him gulp down and hide another groan, making me even more concerned than before. Damien. <clears throat> it's, it's just a headache. I get it when I run out of <clears throat> energy. I'll be fine. He was out of energy? I guess he didn't take enough when we first met, so it was just enough to heal his wounds. I'll consider those extra tickets you guys earned earlier as part of you guys being, like, the original, you know, the OG Choo Choo Club. None of us took <clears throat> more than we needed to heal. From the sounds of his voice, he was fighting back major pain. I felt incredibly bad. Damien smiled very lightly at me. I'll be fine. Uh, obviously... We are going to give him our energy. If he needed energy, I was willing to give it. Damien... Damien instantly turned away from me before I could finish my sentence. Uh, no. No. I'll be fine. I'm used to this. Used to it? Used to pain? There was no way that was okay. I glared at Damien's back before grabbing his shoulder and forcing him around. Damien stared at me wide-eyed in surprise. Damien, let me help you. Please. I don't want to see you in pain like this. <laughs> I continued to stare at him, wondering if he'd make the first move. I wanted to help him, truly. I knew that my energy would help him not feel pain. Damien must have heard my thoughts as his gaze changed from nervous to piercing. All of a sudden, I felt that familiar feeling of warmth run through my body once again. It's that music, as Gwen would say. <laughs> I felt my body slightly heat up as Damien wrapped an arm around my body and pulled my body tightly to his. Damien grew a lustful gaze before speaking, bringing a hand to cup the back of my neck. Thank you. Adorable. Before I knew it, Damien pulled me into a gentle but passionate kiss. Heat erupted through my body as his kiss slowly and almost timidly got deeper. Damien kept an arm around my waist while I rested my hands on his chest. Oh my god. Guys, do you really want me to do that? Alright, hold on. Let me, let me wait to the end of the scene. The energy from my body was slowly draining in the kiss, making me feel light and warm. It was almost pitiful how comfortable and how willing I was in this situation. Still, I held no regrets. I was enjoying every bit of this kiss. Damien was a wild card. I re didn't really know what to expect from him, and his kiss was no exception. Damien wasn't forceful, but his kiss was deep and passionate, and it felt almost magical. It was how I imagined my first kiss to be like, except with energy drain. Soon, though, the energy drain stopped, and Damien gently pulled his face away to end the kiss. Um... That's a good question, Shelties. I don't know what I can really make it do. I can't make it all one word and have the person's name there. 
Maybe, I don't know. I stared up at him as we both panted for air. I had never kissed like that before, and I was so lost in the moment that I'd forgotten how to breathe. Damien moved a strand of hair from my face behind my ear, eyes still full of desire. I'm okay now, but I... I could feel the hold of his mind-altering spell fade away, but I still felt hot. Something told me that I wanted more, but at the same time, I wasn't sure if I truly did want to give any more. Obviously, we're gonna keep going. I, op I was open to the opportunity, and I was enjoying it as much as he was. I wanted more, and I was going to let him keep going. I wanted to keep going. I leaned up and kissed him again. Damien gasped against my lips, but continued to kiss back. I could feel him pull on the tail of my bow, releasing it and following his hand off from around my neck. He moved to the ribbon to his pocket before gently unbuttoning the top two buttons of my blouse. The desire in my body drove me insane, forcing a moan to escape my lips as he ran kisses from my lips down to my exposed neck. <laughs> Guys, it was one time. Oh my god. As he began to ravish my neck and shoulders in hot kisses, I learned my head I leaned my head back and let a pleasurable sigh escape my lips. Damien was ruthless in his passionate kisses on my skin. Damien didn't stop touching and kissing me, making me making more moans and gasps or shadow my mouth into the open air. He may have been full, but he was as hot as I was. Cookie's dying. I couldn't even comprehend how much time we spent making out. I was lost in the pleasure I was so lost in the pleasure that I didn't care. Call it sinful, but I didn't care. I loved it. His touch, his kiss, his heat, blah blah blah. We've done this all the time. I de I desired to be on anything at that moment, even as he lowered his kisses down my chest and just above my bra. <laughs> Hannah. My heart was beating wildly in my chest. Something about Damien intrigued me immensely, but something made my heart quicken for him. It couldn't have been love, but it was too passionate to be lust. What was it? Okay, uh, she blacks out. Um, before I turned to get out of bed, though, I spotted my ribbon on the pillow beside the one I slept on. It was tied around a small pen and a nice bow with a small note attached to it. I gently slipped the note from the tie and opened it to read it. Thank you. I indulged myself, but I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Damien. Adorable. I stared at the note, letting a small smile grace my lips. Uh, he indulged himself as much as I did. I enjoyed it. It was cute to imagine. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, oh, I do this all the my time. Name. Damien's name. Damien's name, you guys. We have not heard Damien's real name yet, I believe. Your name? My true name isn't Damien. I want you to know my real name if something were to happen. His true name? What did he mean? Why was he telling me this now? Damien gently pulled me to him and leaned close to whisper in my ear. My name is Esrol. I love the way he says that. As he said my name, I could. I says he said his name. I could feel it locking in my memory. Something in my head made sure I would never forget it. Damien pulled away and stared at me, despite still carrying worry in his eyes. If you are in any danger, call my name. I promise, I'll come and help you. I stared up at Damien, unable to say anything. I could only nod in response. Damien smiled before releasing my hand and headed into the dining room. Yes, we're gonna use that name eventually. Uh, we're gonna stand up and walk away from her. Screw her. Alright, we've already done the waiting and the fighting. Let's call our bay. All of a sudden, a bright purple light engulfed the room, causing the devils around me to cover themselves. What the? Ugh. Gusts of wind rushed past me, almost forcing me back. I covered my face with my arms, bracing myself and standing on, standing my ground. I tried to peek through my arms to see what was going on, but the light continued to shine brightly. As the gusts slowly started to die, the light began to fade, revealing Damien with a blank expression, staring coldly at Malik's. Well, if he's staring coldly, then he doesn't really have a blank expression. Anyway. Damien. I'm here, as I promised. Malix moved his arms from in front of his face and slowly took in the new sight in front of him. Quickly, Malix's face turned to that of pure evil delight. Out of the five pretty boys, you summoned the pathetic one? What a fucking moron! <laughs> 
Damien stared at Malik, silent and fiercely cold. Damien began to walk towards Malik's one step at a time. Malik, however, brought up his gun, pointing it at Damien. So long, pretty boy! <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, um, the command is now tickets, Cookie. Sorry. Malik pulled the trigger and let, bullets, uh, let a bullet fly straight at Damien's head. I gasped, bracing myself for the result of the shot. Damien's eyes, by the way, are fucking incredible. However, Damien kept walking. Damien didn't fly back, nor did he flinch from the shot. I couldn't see the bullet wound, but I knew there had to be one in Damien's face. What? What the? Fucking die! Malix quickly began to... Uh, we got to quickly pepper shots into Damien's face, some of them passing completely through his head. There was no blood, no fire, nothing. It was as if Damien didn't really exist as he walked towards the now frightened devil. What crap spell is this? As Damien finally reached Malix, the devil jabbed Damien's head towards the ground, making Damien's body fall and slam into the concrete. As the body settled onto the ground, it slowly began to burn away in purple flames. Malix gritted his teeth. Where are you, Damien? Yeah, so Damien has, like, illusions and shit. Malix began to- uh, Malix scanned the room like a hungry dog hunting for its final meal. Malix's body began to glow a fiery red color in anger from the situation. The remaining devil stared, trying to figure out what to do. Help Malix or watch in silence? Eris, however, walked up beside me and crossed her arms as she watched with an amused smirk on her face. Come out! The air instantly went from frantic to still in energy. What could have been described in tone as the color red quickly turned into a deadly mix of purple and black as everything began to blend together all at once. Damien's voice finally replied. However, his voice seemed different. What's wrong, Malex? Are you afraid of me now? Damien's... Voice, though! I was suddenly afraid. Something about Damien didn't fit right uh, with how I knew him. He sounded otherworldly. His voice was dripping with an almost sadistic tone as he spoke through the air. Afraid of a pretty boy like you. <laughs> you don't even have the balls to face me head on. You're the one who's afraid. Oh, I hate needles, Shelties. I can't deal with them. I can't. Looking to Malix, however, I could tell that he was off. Something about what Damien was doing was keeping Malix in his place. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. In fact, I know very well you're afraid to move right now. You're practically screaming it in your mind. Malix, in a fit of rage, began to shoot in the air, letting the bullets fly into the ceiling. Shut the hell up! Damien's demonic laughter filled the room as a group of dark figures appeared around Malix, walking towards him slowly and menacingly. In defense, Malix fired shots at each entity around him, causing them to fall and fade away into purple flames. However, Ma that didn't stop more from appearing around him and closing in on him. Malix became frantic. Was this the extent of demon power? Okay, obviously this is not Damien cock-blocking us this time. <laughs> I suddenly felt a pair of hands cover my eyes tightly, pulling me against someone's chest. I gasped but was stopped from prying their hands off my face. It's me. Don't look. Oh, good guy Sam. I listened carefully and let the last two words linger in my mind. Don't look. Why? What was being hidden from me? I wanted to know, but something told me to obey Sam's command. I could still hear Malik's screams of agony and the sound of ripping flesh. The smell of blood was covered by the harsh odor of ash and fire. Maybe it was better that I wasn't able to see. Damien! Enough! Almost instantly after James's command, the sound stopped. The only thing anyone could hear then was the sound of dripping blood. At least let me dispose what's left of him. What's left of him? What? I'll take care of it. You've done enough, Damien. Come out. After a brief silence, a pair of footsteps made their way to my spot. Each step seemed to echo with a haunting, otherworldly tone. Almost as if a very low and dark piano played a singular note with each step of the pair of feet took. I will admit, you really wailed on him. 
You practically scared everyone out of the warehouse. It's a good thing you were hiding when you lost your glamour spell, huh? Glamour spell? What did he mean? Why did Damien sound so different? Why was this being hidden from me? It's a spell that makes us look human. I froze. Look human? They didn't look human after all. Why did they look like? Like demons. As if Matthew knew what Damien was talking about, Matthew spoke up, followed by the sound of a cork popping out of a bottle. Well, not for much longer. Here. I could hear a small clink of glass being passed before Damien guzzled down a liquid of some sort. Uh, the feeling of air around me gently began to warm back up, insinuating that everything had been returned to normal. Finally, Sam moved his hands from my eyes, allowing me to see around me once again. The devils, including Eris, had fled. Malix was missing, but bloodstains left behind in his place told me that he was definitely dead, regardless of his location. Also, drink my... The boys, however, had gathered around me. All of them, including Damien, looked like nothing had happened. What? What just... I tried speaking, but everything zipped around in my head at the whole event, and I felt like speaking wasn't possible. Let's just get you home, miss. There's nothing more to see here. I could only nod. What had happened boggled my mind to the point of disbelief. I was second-guessing everything lost at a sea of what and how and when. As we walked out of the warehouse, I looked to Damien for some form of sign that I wasn't dreaming. Just Damien, despite looking down at his feet, held a face of cold sadness, as if he regretted what he did. Okay, it was over. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we have to do the scene again, obviously. Finally, we... Finally, we can relax. It will be good to have some rest without devils breathing down our necks. Ugh, <sighs> I'm just tired. Can I hit the hay early? I think some sleep would be good for all of us. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Bed sounds good. Should we be gone in the morning? I like Damien. I think Damien's romance might be my favorite, actually. Well... <laughs> The end of Damien's story is very unique to this game, and I'm kind of so-so on it, but whatever. <laughs> they had remi remembered their deal, and were now awaiting me to decide their fate. Uh, they were willing to accept whatever I demanded. Oh! I looked at Damien, feeling my heart flutter in my chest. I didn't want him to leave, but would he ask to stay? I hoped that he would, s he would say no and ask me to stay longer. As if he knew what I wanted... Uh, Damien moved and stepped to me, staring into my eyes with almost pleading eyes. He, well, I hate that, 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 that... Ah, my inner editor! His eyes made me want to whimper in guilt, but then he spoke. I know we've only been here for a short while, but you've done so much for us just by giving us a place to stay. <laughs> However, if, if I may be honest, I really would like us to stay here longer. Can we? My heart, my heart skipped a beat with a red, large, while well, a large red blush ran across my cheeks. The boy stared at Damien wide eyed but didn't dare speak out. Damien stepped back to give me space, returning to where he was. Uh, obviously, we're gonna let them stay. Oh. Everybody's yeah, excited. Man. All right, give us some alone time with Damien. Here we go. Ladybug Queen's here. Hello, Ladybug Queen. Welcome to the party. The others quickly left to finally rest, leaving me and Damien alone at last. My heart fluttered a bit as Damien walked closer to me. He was happy and it was really cute to see him that way, so I didn't do anything but smile back. Thank you. You're welcome, Damien. I'm happy to have you stay here. I watched his smile brighten a bit before he cleared his throat and looked at me with a serious face. I did didn't know if it was the tiredness or my growing attachment to him, but I felt myself sway a bit on my feet. However, Damien's face made it clear that he wanted to say something else, making me forget that my bed was also calling for me. Listen, about what happened at the warehouse. No, it's fine. You did what you had to do. I understand. Damien and Suzu? That's an interesting pairing. <laughs> um... Maybe not a proposal to hand up to me. Let's get you to bed. KK. I was still in my school clothes, but I was too tired to strip or care. I looked at Damien, fighting a yawn uh, from escaping me as he gently ran a hand over my hair. Good night. 
I'll make breakfast for you in the morning. He is a cutie pie. I nodded with a tired smile before watching him slowly stand and leave my room, closing the door. Uh, I, saw, uh, I felt consumed. Uh, everything was peaceful. I was happy. It's troll time. <laughs> you are an interesting creature. LOL. I'll never get sick and tired of that troll. Uh, obviously, I don't know. Does this does this affect him? No. Okay. Diana. Damien pressed his lips together in a fine line. The other boys looked at me with a raised eyebrow. A girl named Diana came by last night. Diana? Is she important? Yeah, Diana, blah, 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 blah. Oh, hell no, bitch! Uh, let's keep quiet, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's all the backstory. Oh, you're awake. How do you feel? <laughs> Shelties. I think you guys actually can help me figure out how we should end Damien's story. I believe we have it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the choice really matters. Is Pep left? Uh, better. Damien nodded before he looked out at the bed, taking my hands into his. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Damien, it's not your fault. No, it is. I was the one who wanted to come to the human world. I convinced the others to come with. If I never did that, we'd never have put you in danger like this. I quickly reached over and put my finger on his lips, stopping him from going any further. I didn't want to hear any more. Damien, it's okay. I wanted to help you out. I offered to let you all stay. Nothing's your fault. I gently moved my hand and cupped Damien's cheek, staring at him with concern. I didn't want him to hold guilt in his mind about this whole ordeal. Whole ordeal. Diana was desperate and she'd hunt anyone for them. It wasn't his fault she was so desperate enough to hunt them down. One thing bothered me, though. Why did his dad scorn him? Why did Damien want to run away? The others seemed a little obvious, but Damien was a mystery. Oh, he won't be a mystery for long. However, before I could be vocally curious, uh, J Damien, gently, uh, le, le, le. Damien gently held my head in his hands. Damien? Damien frowned and simply held me. I'll show you everything. Damien let out a small laugh, a hint of depression lingering in the breath he let out, before he focused his energy into my head. My vision blurred, and suddenly I was back in the demon castle. Alright, guys, get ready for some serious crying. I expected to see Damien wandering around the halls or with his brothers. However, I found him alone, sitting at the foot of the throne, tearfully curled into a ball. The room smelt of blood, but my eyes couldn't look away from the tearful Damien. Damien. I knew he couldn't hear me, but I instinctively called out to him. He looked lonely. Where were his brothers? Why are you crying? Damien picked his head up, suddenly, as did I. Oh yes, guys, this is the story of how the brothers met Anderson's grandfather in the first place. <sighs> grandfather? Who are you? What do you want? I just want to know if you're okay. Who are you? Don't be afraid. I'm just a friend. Friend? I stared completely in shock. How did... When did... My grandfather knew them? 
Everything started going fast forward. I saw Damien talking to the voice of my grandfather, seeing his sad face go from happy to surprised to fascinated and cycle randomly. There were even moments when Matthew joined him, letting Damien speak for the whole vo for the voice in the uh, David speak for the voice in the air. It was all unbelievable. Here, my grandfather spoke of the human world, painting it to be a beautiful world full of opportunity. How did my grandfather know about all this? What was going on? My mind slightly spun at the idea that my grandfather had delved into magic and demons. Eventually, the world around me slowed down to see the boy standing before the empty throne. They looked determined, stout, and ready for something to happen. Damien stepped forward and held his hand out to the throne. Otenibris portas, apiriad nobas, ladiat horexitum, desiderium. Bye, Cookie, I love you! Have a good night, my darling. My grandfather started to chant a phrase unfamiliar to me, letting it rupture into the air around the boys. Gusts of wind started to brush through the room like a storm rushing in. I watched, however, a small tear open in the air in front of the throne. It glowed an unholy purple color, peeking into a very familiar pink cafe. No way! That's... Quickly, Sam rushed over and drove his hands through the tear, pulling it open and making it larger and revealing the Pink Lady Cafe with my grandfather on the other side. We haven't been to the Pink Lady Cafe yet. I believe in Naomi's route you go to it, but we're about to see it for the first time. My grandfather held out his hand, ushering the boys to come. Hurry up, boys. I can't hold it open for long. Instantly, the boys ran through the tear, climbing through and almost crashing into the tables and chairs of the cafe. I felt myself move through as well, joining them as my grandfather closed the portal. The boys looked around the space, almost mystified by the sight. My grandfather laughed out of breath before sitting down at one of the nearby tables. There now. Welcome to the human world, boys. Let's see. Kay, make us some coffee, please. These boys need a drink. Yeah, so this is Kay from uh, that extra scene with Simon. I turned to see Kay, the owner of the cafe, and the only other person in the room besides the boys smile and quickly get to work on making coffee. I was dumbfounded. She knew about them? I felt myself getting dizzy at the thought, but I shook my head out and tried to focus on what was going on. My grandfather looked at the boys up and down before chuckling again. The boys must have been speechless. You'll need a spell to cover yourselves up. Humans don't exactly have horns or parade around naked. The boys looked at each other before collectively nodding and focusing their energies. Before their, my eyes, they went from demons to human-looking demons. They looked at each other ecstatic at their new looks. My grandfather, however, cleared his throat and brought the attention back to him. Now don't be rude to Kay now. Sit and enjoy some coffee. It's the best in town. The boys obeyed, obviously in his debt. I looked at Damien's face and he was almost in tears with joy. I could tell that he was beyond happy to be in the human world. I almost felt like crying for him, but I couldn't understand why. Maybe it was his facial expressions or maybe it was because I would meet him soon after this fact. Eventually, Damien st stopped the magic, lowering his hands and letting me come back to reality. I held on to Damien, who kept a hold of me to make sure I didn't faint. Everything felt so wrong, and yet it all made sense at the same time. My grandfather knew magic. My grandfather helped the boys. He cast a spell on the mansion and on me to protect me. I was the one who convinced everyone to come to the human world. I was also the one who asked that man, your grandfather, to bring us. So he helped you come through. What happened after? He gave us a wallet full of fake IDs and maps of the world. He told us to go anywhere we wanted and that he would pay for everything so we wouldn't have to use our magic. It was like he made us human. Yeah. Grandpa was rich as fuck. Damien laughed nostalgically. I could tell he was happy remembering how my grandfather had helped. Still, I couldn't wrap my head around it, but the answers I wanted were six feet under and unreachable now. You really wanted to be a human. Damien looked at me, his eyes glimmering in both hope and shame. More than anything, I still want to be human. I, I don't mean just in looks. Everything. Yeah, so this is the big cornerstone of Damien's story. Um, a lot, you know, you saw the guys, you know, they wanted to escape from stuff in their past. Damien doesn't want to be a demon anymore. 
He wants to be a human, and he's very serious about this. Damien looked to his hands, lowering them to the bed between us. Humans don't read minds. Humans don't hurt people like demons do. I didn't ask to be a demon. I, I, I want to learn things, go places, and not have to be bound by magic or anything. I stared. It was pitiful to see him like this. He looked almost like a child, begging me for something he really wanted. I wanted to help somehow, I just didn't know how. It's alright. Damien? You've already done so much for me and my brothers. Sheltering us. Letting us continue to live here. Damien frowned though, gently caressing my cheek with his hand. I don't want you to get hurt because of us. Damien lowered his head in shame. I couldn't help but feel my heart squeeze within my chest at the sight. He truly cared. Damien let out a small sigh before looking to me with a new smile. He hid his sadness well, but I could tell he was still upset about the whole ordeal. Alright. You should sleep. J oh! Poor Damien! Wait till we get to the end of this story! You are going to want to scream and punch things, I guarantee you! We're gonna steal a kiss. I couldn't leave him without doing something. I quickly pulled Damien down to me, lifted my head and gently kissed him, softly laying a hand on his cheek to keep his face close. Damien stared in deep surprise before hesitantly kissing me back, caressing my cheek and slightly melting at the touch of our lips. <laughs> you should be scared, Hannah. It is not pretty. A soft sigh escaped his lips before he slowly pulled away with a smile. He gently licked his lips, making me go red in the face at the simple gesture. He let out a satisfied sigh before nuzzling my forehead. Go to sleep. How pathetically sweet. Yeah, this is where the story goes fucking off the rails. Get ready to cry your eyes out. I suddenly tensed up. I felt majorly uneasy. She was here. I quickly looked around the room, sitting up straight before seeing Diana leaning against the window with a smirk towards me. What do you want? Oh, I just wanted to see how close Damien was to you. Obviously, he's very close. I stood from the bed, glaring daggers at Diana. And what's it to you? He doesn't want to leave with you, so leave him alone. Oh, I will. I don't care enough.